Hi, my name is Felicia from LJ Valley Stream, and today we're going to be using the pantal warmer. So first, you're going to bring the pantal warmer out, and you're going to hook it up. You should get it prepared when you realize there's a baby coming, or if you get a phone call from EMS, a baby's coming in. You want to warm up the pantal warmer. Okay, what you'll do in the back is you'll plug it in, plug it into the wall, and then you'll plug in your oxygen. So this goes up here. Okay, then you will turn on your air, righty tighty lefty loosey over here. And you want to make sure your on button is on. Going over to the other side. It is now warming up for seven minutes. It'll be on 100%. But if you don't admit the baby or acknowledge that the baby is here by turning on the AFGAR, it will go to 50% power, heating power, after seven minutes. So when the baby comes out, we'll press AFGAR on or admit the baby. And it's counting your AFGAR score at 1, 5, and 10 minutes. It'll beep and your heat is at 100%. It's blinking because it wants you to acknowledge it, so you're gonna press either one up or down, and now it's set. Once the baby is attached to a thermometer probe, you can change your mode to baby. Now that'll take your set temp, which is blinking, we're gonna acknowledge it, we're gonna set it to 98.1, and over here will be the baby's temp. So the machine will increase or decrease power so that the baby will equal the set temp. All right, we all can also weigh the baby here by clicking menu and scale, weigh, and we can zero the bed out and weigh the baby. Okay, going down here, these are your monitors. Up here above the gray is your suction. You could turn it on, adjust the suction, and your suction canister is on the side. Under the gray line is your gases, turn it on, and it will blend oxygen and air to get your percentage. So if your FiO2 is at 50%, it will blend your oxygen and air so that the baby will receive 50% oxygen and the rest air. Too much oxygen is toxic to baby, so we would like to set it at 40%. Okay, take this off for now. This side will be your BVM side, this side will be your NEOT side. So you can attach your BVM over here. Turn on the oxygen and you can bag the baby. The manometer is here on the pediatric BVM and you wanna stay within the green, so less than 20. However, it only takes just a little bit of pressure for you to get above 20. So there is another way to do that using the NEOT. So this is a NEOT and it's connected to this side. And we're just gonna set our settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna occlude the top and we're gonna set our peep by turning the dial and we want our peep to be five. And we can see that peep is five by looking at your dial. In order for us to set the amount of inspiratory pressure, we can occlude both holes and you can see it's set at 20 and we can adjust it here to lower or higher. We're gonna keep it at 20. So now, when you bag a baby, and you occlude, and this is bagging, it will always stay at 20 pressure. Oh, if you wanna do blow by oxygen with a NEOT, you can just hold it there to the baby, or you can hold it like that to the baby. Just holding this and not occluding anything will be CPAP for the baby, and if you wanna BVM the baby, you can just tap on this. So your rate is 40 to 60 for newborns. Over here we have something that has to do with the preductal SpO2 after birth. Your SpO2 should be on the baby's right hand on the palm. And if your baby's three minutes old, a normal SpO2 will be 75%. Your baby will only reach 95% SpO2 after 10 minutes of birth. After birth. 